there is too much news going on today. Too much. I'm not ready for it. All right. <sighs> Welcome back to Just Nuts, dudes and lady dudes and doodlings. <sighs> We've got the whole uh, rarity list for Chaos Impact here. We got all the last 20 cards revealed. We got a new archetype revealed and new support cards revealed for uh, Ignition Assault this morning. We've gotten so much stuff dropped on us today. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of blasting you with videos, but so I got to get this news out. I think it's all interesting stuff. Like, that's all stuff I can't just ignore. So let's start with the rares here. All right. The set looks pretty good, by the way. I think this is a pretty good set. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But I feel like it's a pretty decent set. Starting with the rares, we have Monster Express, the new train card that like sends a monster, an extra deck monster from deck to from extra deck to grave. Um, Marine says Mandarin, which is nice. Um, Unchained Aruha and Unchained Raka. Uh, I think those are the 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 main deck ones, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember exactly. Um, Gladiator Beast Sagittari, Gladiator Beast Atorix, Gladiator Beast Vespacious. Nice to see that they won't be too crazy expensive, hopefully, for the Gladiator Beast. We have Nebula Dragon here, Hop Eared Squadron. That's the card that lets you quick effect um, quick effect Synchro on your opponent's turn. Salaman Queen uh, Transcendence, I think that's the trap card. Uh, Gladiator Beast United, Spiritual Entanglement, Blessed Winds, the... Um, Arrow Mage card, Jelly Cannon, Tyrant Farm, Brutal Beast Battle, Dream Mirror, or Neromancy, and Overburst Dragon. Nothing crazy here. Moving on to the uh, Super Rares. Okay, there's nothing here. I guess we don't know these ones yet. Oh, number. Oh, I know what these are. I have this written down. Okay, so Super Rare. Number 23 is Yata no Misaki, the Mechanical Bird. Um, that's the bird that like lets you additional normal summon uh, when you normal summon it, and it lets you like double its attack if you do something else. But per cool bird card, weirdly like supports like um, true Dracos and stuff. Number twenty four is Congrade Primate of the, um, uh, what is it of the conglomerates? That's the big rock uh, gorilla. He's kind of interesting. Um, then we have Gladiator Beast Domitanius. Domitanius. Um, that's the, the one that negates uh, monster effects from the extra deck. Really cool, good card. Uh, we have Aroma Seraphi Marjoram, Sweet Marjoram, nice card. Extra deck card, I like that at Super. Marine says Crystal Heart, Galaxy Satellite Dragon, Gorgon, Empress of the Evil Eye, very nice card for Evil Eyes. What's number 62? Is Evil Eye Gorgon, okay. So both of the Evil Eye cards coming in at Super Rare. Nice to see there, because that's an already an all foil um, archetype, so it's nice to see that they hold true to that. Peaceful Burial, the terrible Foolish Burial reprint, <laughs> remake. Um, then we have a bunch of Dream Mirror cards. We have Phantasos, the Dream Mirror Friend, Phantasos, uh, the Dream Mirror Foe, or Neros, the Dream Mirror Earl King, that's the Fusion, and then Dream Mirror Phantasms and Dream Mirror Hypnagogia, um, both sitting here as well. Nice to see. Moving on up to the Ultra Rares. We've got Draco Berserker of the Tenye. I believe that's the Synchro Monster. We have Gallant Granite. I believe that's the Rock Support card, where it's a generic rank 4 that you can attach a material to search a rock, a level 4 or lower rock monster from deck to hand. It's pretty nice. That's pretty nice generic rock support. Unchained Abomination. That's another one of the uh, Hakai or Unchained is the new name for it. Test Panther up here at Ultra Rare. That makes sense. Test Panther is such a nice card. I wanted to see this be foil because it's too good of a card for that archetype to not have some nice rarity, but I'm glad it's not a secret rare so it's not too expensive. Um, then we have IP Mascarina. That's the new card, the new monster that lets you quick effect a link on your opponent's turn, which is really nice. Just pair that with like um, Nightmare, like Unicorn. You can just quick effect Unicorn on your opponent's turn to spin a card. Not bad. Wailing of the Unchained Souls. Uh, Gladiator Rejection. Bounty. Oh, is this. What, what's 63? Oh, Pup Prize. Okay, that's the Pup Prize card. Uh, Striker Dragon and then Draco, Masters of the Tenyi. Nothing super crazy here either. Uh, Striker Dragon, you knew it was going to be somewhat higher rarity because it does just uh, become such a huge card for the Dragon Link deck coming out. Uh, or that's not coming out, but it's going to get a nice buff. Uh, Draco, Masters of the Tenyi, really nice um, Tenyi card here as well. Really glad to see that. Wait, I don't think I saw the other Tenyi card. Oh, is it a common? What the heck? Tenny Dragon Ajna. 
that just, is that a common? That's crazy. All the other ones were rare in the other set. Wow, they couldn't even make a rare slide open for it. That's crazy. Because that one's like actually the best one other than um, Vishuda. All right, then we move to the secret rares. We've got Marine says Blue Tang. Yes, guys, unfortunately, Blue Tang is a secret rare, but it is the only Marine says card in secret rare, um, which hopefully means that it's, you know, if you just get your hands on these, the rest of the new stuff should be fairly um, reasonable, hopefully. Um, we have Unchained Soul of Disaster. We have Star Liege Safe Fert. Um, this card, I could will easily see this being like very expensive if Dragon Link picks up with this set with like Striker Dragon and Star Liege Dragon Safe Fert really like <laughs> knocking up the price there. Firewall Dark Fluid Dragon. I really don't see this being too used outside of decks like Adding Nister, unless people are already looking forward to Adding Nister. I don't see this being too expensive. Salaman Great Pyro Phoenix. It's a decent card, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people just decide that, like, I'd rather just not allocate the slot in my extra deck to it. It's a solid card, but, like, I feel like you can definitely manage without it. Unchained Soul of Rage and Unchained Soul of Anguish are the last two uh, Hakai cards, right? Oh, no, Abomination's Prison, I think, is also an Hakai card. Oh my god, dude. There's four Hakai cards in the Secret Rares. That's going to be killer. This is a new archetype a lot of people were excited about. We'll see how expensive these end up being. I do have to say, like, I do think, like, Safer it's going to be the one Secret Rare here to me that might pull away in terms of being, like, the most expensive card in the set. Unless the hype for Hakai is so high that, like, these cards, like, skyrocket in price. Um, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping since there's so many of them, like, there won't be too many like too much demand for them because they'd probably be very expensive and maybe they'll drop in price i don't know maybe that's too optimistic but oof but that's pretty much it for all the rarities here nothing crazy i was hoping bang Pauline would be a decent rarity here but we don't see that anywhere on here so it's looking like that's a common it's looking like the new tenny monster dragon ajna is going to be common um but i think outside of that everything that probably should be is some kind of rarity so yeah i think we're pretty much all good here this should be more or less all the news we're waiting for for the rest of uh chaos impact all i have left to do is do like a set review which i might not do for a little bit because we're still like three weeks away from the actual release of this set but still the set looks pretty good in my opinion guys let me know about these rarities let me know if you're excited about stuff um being not crazy high rarity let me know if you're bummed because you are a hakai or unchained lover and you wanted to play that deck really bad um oof or you're bummed that marine says blue tang is a secret rare <sighs> oof it's gonna be tough because i really want to do hakai's uh Guys, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe for more stuff from me in the future because I'm trying to keep you updated on all the news that I can. Also, shout out to Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization. Um, I go to them almost all the time. Almost every video I'm going to them for as far as like news videos go um, because they're so, uh, they're so good with news. And even if you don't continue to watch my videos, at least check them out and check them because I, I, I check their uh, website in the morning and at night every single day. I will leave it off there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.